I want to show you the little t potato patch that we have. Uh, my daddy and I are, are trying to cover up the potatoes because they've uh, gotten way too tall because I've been gone and we're trying to pile dirt up around them and that's what it looks like. God bless you, Patriot Homestead. Hey, this is Patriot Homestead. I'd like to wish you a happy Mother's Day. Uh, this is the first year that uh, my mother's passed and uh, she's not with us uh, this Mother's Day, but uh, I'm celebrating her uh, in, in, in my heart uh, and I'll go put flowers uh, and visit her. And uh, one day we'll all be up there in heaven and uh, we'll get to uh, leave this old world behind and uh, all the trouble and the sorrow will be left and we won't have anything but pure happiness, no more worrying and nothing. And so uh, I long for the day that we all get to be together in heaven. But uh, I just wish you a happy Mother's Day. And uh, I would like to uh, thank Heather Seven Light for sending me uh, two things. And it's more than two things, it's friendship. It's, it's endless. And she doesn't want any credit for this, but uh, I would like to thank you, Heather, so much from the bottom of my heart and all of you for your encouragement and your love and support for, for all of this. I couldn't ask for better friends. And the Lord works through people to give them the words to say and um, the abilities to help um, others when they're in the need. And uh, Heather sent me a card the other day. Faith, strength, patience, and hope. And it come at the right time, too. I tell you, I needed this card. And uh, she sent me some pictures from her trip. That's beautiful pictures she had taken from the uh, Upper Peninsula in Michigan. She went to go see her mother. And uh, this is a beautiful barn in Minnesota that she took. And I love that. Thank you, Heather. That's beautiful. And uh, these are pictures near uh, Minnesota, Upper Peninsula, uh, near Chicago Falls. And uh, she's just been a wonderful friend to me. And uh, she helped me grow closer um, to becoming more uh, Christ-like. And uh, she prays with me. And uh, I know that she would be closer if she could. And I would be closer to her. We'd be good friends. We could go hiking together and stuff. And uh, and uh, we all need friends in these hard times. And uh, the Lord's blessed me with her friendship. And I'm so thankful. I couldn't ask for a better friend. I've been going through some hard times. And, uh, and uh, I'm so thankful for the love that I received. Um, there's... Uh, so many instances where um, I know the Lord's been working and I've been blessed. And uh, she donated uh, money to me um, through PayPal through my, to buy food with. Um, it's a difficult time I'm going through. And uh, I don't know where I'll you know, end up. And I'm sure the Lord knows. And I'm blessed wherever I'll go. But... Uh, I never thought that I'd be going through something like this in my whole life. Um, but I miss the old days. I miss these simple times of making butter and stuff. Um, I miss my cow. <laughs> I miss Ruby and I miss my heifer, Lady May. Um, I have my goat still. And uh, I know that the Ruby has gone to a wonderful home and so has Lady May and someday maybe I can uh, see them again. My daddy always says that, uh, you know, um, if if times get uh, better, you know, you'll get you another one and stuff. And So I'm hoping, you know, someday, you know, when I'm an old woman, I'll get to be milking a cow again. That'll be wonderful. Uh, I'm doing uh, what I can here. I work a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the, the people that I help to uh, take care of and stuff, and uh, 
and my heart is so humble when I go in there and, and help these people, you know, I, I don't, a lot of times they just want somebody to listen to them and um, I always love to hear the stories. I take, I take care of, or I help a 96 year old feller and uh, I'm blessed because he plays the harmonica like my daddy does and uh, he says things that humbles my heart and everything and, and it's just a wonderful friendship um, that I have with uh, the people that I've met and I couldn't have done it if I had been here. So I see the good things um, that uh, is taking place amidst these troubling uh, hard times. But the Lord puts people in your life to help you and he sure uh, knows what he's doing. And I'm blessed. And uh, I, t I help uh, a lady and uh, she's been wonderful too. It's just, uh, I miss my home. I miss being here and helping my kids. But uh, I, I've got plenty of love. I just want to make sure everybody knows that even though I'm not there, I still love you and I still think about you. And if uh, if I could, that I would share uh, a good, good morning every day and a hello. And, and I hope your summer is doing, or your spring is doing good. And, I hope everybody's doing well and I miss you so much and I miss farming and I miss the old the old days but I hope that one day I'll get to get back to them because that's where my heart is is with my family and and uh, making sure that the home is taken care of that's important to me but uh I I help take care of uh of the home as much as I can and uh, and I help taking care of others also so the Lord knows I'm trying and uh, I hope everybody has a wonderful blessed Mother's Day and I just want to thank you Heather for everything that you do and for blessing me with your friendship and and your love and your support and it's through God that she gives this love and through the Lord that we have this love and it's it can't be twisted or anything because love is pure you love your neighbor as yourself and uh, i know that i have great love for everybody and i have many friends and um i just want y'all to know i'm thinking of you and keep fighting stay strong and uh pray for me and i'll sure pray for you I do believe we're in some troubling hard times and we need to get down on our knees more and, and keep praying because it's a battle that we face and every single day, the closer we get to the Lord, um, the harder it is. So I appreciate you. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day.